Hello, welcome to From Caracas. I'm Laura Prada, and in this opportunity, we'll be talking to Jose Romero Losaco. He is anthropologist. He also is researcher from the Venezuelan Institute of Scientific Research and member of the School of Critical Thinking here in Caracas. Welcome, Jose. Thanks for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Jose, why decolonizing <coughs> the mine in Latin America and the Caribbean? Because uh, one of the main uh, parts of the, the, the geography of the decolonization start in uh, Latin America and, uh, and the Caribbean. But also we need to understand that the decolonization, the decolonization process uh, is the foundation of the project of the Western modernity. Mm -hmm. We need to understand our, our own history from, the, from this point of view that the, co the uh, colonial uh, expansion of Europe built the identity of Europe, the modern identity of Europe. And then, uh, and because of that, we, uh, we need to understand that we, uh, we cannot follow uh, uh, this path anymore. The same path of trying to be European, to trying to be modern, because uh, all the, m uh, the modernity, uh, all the, m the, the, the intents to modernize mm -hmm. ourselves are, are projects of colonize ourselves. Does that has <coughs> to do some? Does that has something to do with uh, being poor and excluded? But it's related with this. It is a, a long history uh, that we need to to talk <laughs> and uh, 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 to 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 get in, in, in engaged in the discussion about being poor and being excluded. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a history from the fourth century of the Commune era. Start with the foundation of Christendom. Mm -hmm. We need to to make a difference between Christendom and Christianity or Christianism, mm -hmm. because it's not the same. Uh, Christi Christianism or, or Christianity is uh, a, a kind of spirituality that emerged with the uh, uh, experience of Jesus on earth, the historical Jesus. But Christendom is something that is founded in the moment that some kind of Christianity get involved and uh, and is part is get uh, start to get in part of, of the ideology of the Roman Empire and the imposing of the trin of the uh, Trinitarian dogma. This is found a sort of metaphysics and a way of understand uh, our relation with the world and, and the human relation uh, uh, and with each other. And to make it short uh, uh, this metaphysics was secularized in, with the alignment and the scientific uh, revolution, mm -hmm. and and then this secularization is the uh, beginning of the problem of the traditional left, the secular left, that that he d he doesn't realize that we are uh, uh, confronting not uh, only our economical uh, system, mm -hmm. we call it capitalism, we are confronting us civilizatory system. This is a Western. Uh, Civilizatory uh, uh, system, but also this uh, civilizatory system is engaged, is found his basis in the metaphysics of Christendom, and the this metaphysics uh, construct uh, uh, start with our original sins to use <laughs> the, the the words of of the Christi Christendom theology uh, that establish who is saved and who is not. But then we need to look how this kind of discourse start to change when the Spaniards came to this continent mm -hmm. and uh, start the, proce the process of colonization to this co continent. And, and here they start to talk about the difference between people that are human and people that are not human. And and mark a line between in, uh, an uh, abyss line that, that establish uh, who is the real human and who is not. And, and who has the power to, to decide who is human? The same, the, uh, the colonizer. Why? Because they have. Why the give that <coughs> power to the colonizer? Well, the power became. Uh, um, start, first, we. we 
with uh, with guns, with sword, with swords and and cross. Saying a metaphorical uh, mm -hmm. sense, they they impose by force the idea that they are superior and we are inferior. They are human and we are not uh, uh, human. And well, this is a, a like I said before, this is a, a, a long history to talk about, mm -hmm. but uh, we we. Uh, we we could make a a, a, a leap uh, in, in this uh, history um, and take some example for uh, the nineteenth century. F uh, and talk about the human rights declarations, the, hum the the declaration of the man, this because the woman is wasn't included in, the, in that declaration. The uh, the right of a man and uh, and the right of the citizens, I mean the, the classic dec uh, declaration of the French Revolution. And the relation of the French Revolution, for example, with the ha Haitian Revolution, mm -hmm. and how uh, the white uh, uh, French, the the, um, the the Romantics, uh, Germans, for example, of the o o o the humanism in France, uh, doesn't recognize the humanity of the black people in, 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 in Haiti. Uh, and they they impose this kind of, of uh, narrative and we believe in that but because today the today <coughs> the world has changed and we've seen mm. numerous of progressive movements rise in Latin America and the Caribbean <coughs> decolonizing the mind from that um, uh, Western point of view uh, giving uh, rights giving power to those to the poor and to the excluded ones and how how has that left become so sort of a, of a, I don't know, maybe um, a flag, to raise, raising the flag of Christianity, as we have heard some uh, presidents in the past years, in these few recent years, uh, saying that we trust in God, and but mm. we also believed in the principles of uh, communism, of socialism, and those also expressed that the poor and excluded have also have rights. Yeah, there, there, uh, well, we need to make uh, another difference or another uh, uh, um, states about the difference be be between ex uh, exclusion and poverty, mm -hmm. because the, the discourse of exclusion is a new uh, phase. Of uh, of the colonial project, of of the project of colonization mm -hmm. of of the rest of the world. If we look in the 50th of uh, uh, in the past century, uh, the discourse of development uh, has uh, the poor as the subject of the policies of uh, and the welfare state and, 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 and all the, the things that the social science are. Ha, uh, has been saying uh, about that period, but in the 70s the discourse changed. The, the poor uh, get out of the scene, and we, we start to talk about exclusion, social exclusion, in the 80s in Latin America, uh, w when we are engaged in the problem with debt, we start to talk about exclusion, and we abandon the discussion of poverty. Well, in, in the social theory, there is a lot of critics about po uh, the, the notion of poverty. But even those critics, the, the concept of poverty is better than, than the co concept of exclusion. If you look in an archaeological sense, in a uh, gene genealogical sense, about the notion of social exclusion, we traced his uh, origins in the May 68, in the problems that the uh, French elites have to solve uh, um, uh, around uh, the, the, the crisis that produced May 16th. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a book, and this is a particular um, thing that I, I want to say about this book. This, bo this book is, uh, uh, title is Les, Les Exclus. There is no English or Spanish translation of this book. And this is uh, very interesting that this book hasn't translated in 50 years after uh, our past from the first publication of this book. And this book is not translated to any other language that, Fran uh, that his original language, French. 
this book was written uh, uh, by the the Secretary of Social Protection, something like that. This is a, the, the translation of the secretary in, in mm -hmm. France, uh, of the first Chirac. And the concerns of this government was the problems of, of uh, unemployment, the increase of the unemployment in France. Then the excluded is not the poor, it's unemployment. This is a, ver this is a big difference because when we start to think that the problem is that we have a very big mass of people that are unemployed, then mm -hmm. the resolve this problem is produce jobs, create opportunities. This all the discourse of neoliberalism about the opportunities, not about equality. Mm -hmm. Then I I even if you, you, you can't... Uh, if, 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 if but if you know, excluded... <coughs> Of course, are not always only the poor, but <coughs> we can exclude but race, uh, color of our skin, sex, uh, identity and orientation. We can exclude yeah. by uh, uh, if you're female or male, uh, races, and a variety of, of ways of um, excluding. But uh, talking about that, uh, you also investigate and you research about uh, the ways that the church have uh, maybe induced to that kind of exclu exclusion, but also uh, how they have built uh, uh, groups of beliefs to, to put together all those people. And what tendons within, within the Western structure of, of uh, do churches move in, in these cases? Well, uh, first of all, the advance of the evangelical tendencies mm -hmm. of Christianity right now in the world and in the political s scene, I think this is not the main uh, problem that we are facing in, in, in the world right now. Uh, the pr uh, this is only the symptoms. The, uh, this the, uh, this uh, kind of, of, of movement, Bolsonaro in Brazil, for mm -hmm. example, are the symptoms of another problem, of the real problem. And the real problem is that the Western civilization is falling down. All the... Due to what? Because his uh, own contradictions. The, the Western uh, civilization has created a lot of problems in the world right now, uh, but also they present these problems like uh, some kind of human problem, because this is part of the discourse of, of the Western civilization. When when you uh, found something that is a, a great achievement for humanity, is a Western achievement. When, when you find something like this, you know, very complicated to, uh, to assume that this is a, 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 an achievement, is a, a problem that we as human create, well, the Western say, no, this is not a problem of the Western civilization. This is a problem of the human. All the human are violent, or the human are, uh, uh, Egocentrics and or human are racist. And this is not a Western issue. And um, the main contradiction that we are facing is an ecological contradiction, the, cri the ecological crisis. The Western civilization are saying this is an anthropocentric problem. We are living in the anthrop Anthropocene. Well, we are not living in the Anthropocene, we are living in the Capitalocene. Mm -hmm. th and this is a different approach. Then, the problems that the Western civilization are, have been created from the 16th century right now doesn't have the ways to solve it. And as the poet of the Caribbean of Martinique, I may said, say, a civilization that cannot solve the problem that create is a dec decadent civilization. In recent years, we've seen how this um, uh, different kinds of, of religions have uh, become more visible and also create political, they cr have created political movements and some have been participating in elections. But is that not only a Latin American Caribbean phenomenon, it's that we have seen it also in Europe uh, where it's not common that these kind of things happen. Uh, but mainly all of those uh, groups have originated in the United States. How have they um, become 
part of the reality of Latin America and the Caribbean, of Europe, how have they um, dispersed so much? Well, unfortunately, we, we are still uh, colonized by the West. And the identity of the West is a racist, sexist, patriarchal identity with a specific theological frame. This is the frame of the Christendom. Mm -hmm. Then our uh, culture is uh, embedded with these values. And uh, because of that, I I we need to decolonize our minds. Then when, when we look at uh, what is happening in Brazil, for example, when w where uh, we I can say is that the discourse of Bolsonaro is uh, up, uh, is uh, is getting get engaged with all the values of this sexist, patriarchal, racist uh, civilization, mm -hmm. and people and the people are, uh, are moving by all the values created by the colonies, but by the colonization, by the colonization process. And because of I, I, I said before, the problem is not the advance of mm -hmm. some sort uh, church of uh, or, or evangelical Christianity. Mm -hmm. The problem is that the Western civilization hasn't uh, right now has an other way to uh, to engage in this and uh, continue uh, this project of colonization and domination of the world, and he using the more primarial sense of his own identity. And, beca and because of that, we need to f struggle right now more than ever. Uh, the structures of domination, the racist structure, the patriarchal, the sexist, and the secular structures. This is more important than the other ones, not because the other ones no are relevant, but because the secular structure sustain the myths that we are live in the world where there is a bracket that we can called religion, mm -hmm. apart from the state, apart from society, has Ramon Grofogel, this is part of the scholar with, uh, with I work, say that religion in the Western is something that you do on Sunday. And then the rest of the week you can kill, you can uh, uh, you know <coughs> uh, get in violence with uh, your companion, with uh, mm -hmm. your partner, uh, with woman, etc. Uh, you can uh, treat uh, your child as a non-human, and, and you, you can reproduce all the sexist, mm -hmm. racial, uh, racial structures of the society, and it doesn't matter because if on Sunday you go to church and talk with the priest, and then the problem is solved. Before I was asking you about the need of uh, investigating, of talking about the decolonization of the mind in Latin America and the Caribbean, but it's also important to teach how that phenomenon happens uh, within the mind, but also how culture uh, sets it and empowers. But through investigation, through research, you've been able to see that process a little bit, how that happens, how after all these years that we've seen progressive movements that have tried to stop that to, to decolonize the mind of the Latin American people how have they uh, because they have they have uh, struggled uh, with it to make people see different the world to to learn it and to enrich themselves and forgetting that they're learning and also living as individuals that are not colonized that are independent and are have the facilities to conquer their thoughts, their aspirations. What have you been able to see? Well, uh, first of all, in an historical sense, uh, the process of decolonization, of decolonization started with uh, in the uh, prime moment of colonization. Mm -hmm. As we were then, talking. But then we we uh, we are we have. Uh, 500 years of colonization, and we have uh, 500 years of process of decolonization and uh, struggles against uh, the co this colonial uh, civilization. Give me some examples of how we can we can see that process of decolonization of the mind here in Venezuela, in Caracas. 
Well, there is, uh, for example, a uh, social movement called Pobladores that mm -hmm. is working with the uh, rights of uh, people uh, to the city. And this is a movement that constructs, uh, auto-constructs uh, houses uh, with a community and collective uh, practice and way of, of doing the process of construction. But, he's face, uh, but this moment is facing the, the, uh, the problem that when the houses is finished, the logics that operate in the community to build it disappear. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, happens some, something like that. When the people has his key, uh, then open the door of his apartment and then uh, lock it up and lock it himself in the apartment and, uh, and in his apartment and the community that built the house disappear. Then uh, they are uh, discussing I I inside the movement about the necessities of t uh, talking not only about the right of the people to the city, but also uh, how the city is a colonial construction and we need to change the way that we uh, build the city and relate each other in this uh, social construction that we call uh, the city. Um, throughout <coughs> the interview we've been talking <coughs> about the terms of exclusion and poor, but specifically about exclusion. Why, why is it important that society ha have cre cre to create conscious to society what, what exclusion and inclusion are? Well, uh, first of all, because uh, we need to understand that it's the, the excluded in the traditional definition is someone that is uh, outside of society then the inclusion process is to put this person that is outside of society inside mm -hmm. the society. In, in a more uh, metaphorical way, this is you have a basket and you have a person outside the basket and you need to put it inside the basket. The problem is that when we talk about inclusion, uh, we don't talk about what the basket is. And we need to start to question in ourselves about what is this basket and if really we want to live inside this basket and when we realize that this basket is the Western civilization with all his problems, with all his uh, uh, fundamentalism, uh, well, we start to realize that we are in problems when uh, we want to be included. And, and there also, well, we need to, to construct uh, policies that uh, attack all uh, mm -hmm. All, all the the things uh, the, the bad the, the the bad things that produce uh, the Western model, the Western civilization, all the the, the traditional that, that we call the poverty and, and stuff like that, the exclusion of women, the exclusion of child of, of and of all people, etc. But also we need to start to understand that we uh, that the the project is not to construct, to build another model of inclusion. We need to construct another world civilization. Interesting. This is, a, this is the biggest quest. Interesting, Jose. But we are running out of time. I hope we can meet some other time to discuss <coughs> this and much more other topics regarding uh, exclusion, regarding politics, regarding religions and beliefs and how society uh, change and evolves. Like this, we come to the end of this from Caracas today. We've been talking with Jose Romero Lasaca, who is anthropologist, researcher from the Venezuelan Institute of Scientific Research, and member of the School of Critical Thinking here in Venezuela. Thank you, Jose, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here. The same. Thank you for having the time for us.